All right, so it's Thursday, which means we're doing the news every Thursday on the channel. We do the Adventure Quest news. Let's get in to it. it Okay, okay, okay. So first things first, we have some Renwog news. Now this is a house that every time you go to your house, it changes. Now I don't know how we're gonna bug this out, but it's gonna bug out a lot on my live stream, I imagine. And it's probably gonna be client side. I wonder if it'll be server side. It'd be so trippy uh, if it was server side and like every time someone joins your house, it changed. But uh, it's really cool seasonal house is gonna be coming out tomorrow for Grenwalk. And then you can see a few of the 10 different styles each time you slash join your house so i have no clue how this is gonna work but we're probably gonna break it somehow also related to grunwalk i showed this i think last news episode and probably the one before that but i like to include the contents coming out in the more recent update the most recent update uh to the time of me recording the news video and that is of course tomorrow which is the grunwalk uh first event so these are going to be items in the event, and uh, you've probably already seen all this, so let's just move past this quickly. Here are some armors that Krulong's been working on. Um, they're old sets uh, that he's never shown before. I think this is from an anime. I mean, the only anime I watch is Cory in the house, so I wouldn't know. But it does look really sick, and I'd be down with an armor like this being in the game. I uh, hear some more. Of course, these are all unfinished, or... or uh, are they unfinished? I don't know. Like, these are just old stuff that... He, he's probably going to use pieces of these for new armors, so that's why I'm including this in the video. Uh, none of these are uh, going to be released, at least that I think of, that I could think of. Maybe they'll be released? I don't know. But, uh, just thought I'd show that from Kulong there. Also, okay. In, uh, last month, uh, Zay won the contest for the pink collab bug, which I can show you right now if you haven't seen it already. So this was the weapon that uh, the winner chose last month. Now he graciously gave me one. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, it's 1 in 12 in the game. And he's got a dual version of it. The guy that won. And it's got a hard animation and stuff. Really sick weapon. Uh, this month, we have a new winner. Han. Or Han. I'm going to guess it's Han. Uh, here's Han. Here's the character page. And this is Hancock's alt. You probably recognize Hancock if you've been on Twitter before. Uh, I asked him what weapon he asked for, and he said he couldn't tell me. The only hint he could give me was it was going to be a whip. And a Mehmet's working on it uh, because of a post that I saw on Elena's uh, Twitter. So, uh, Mehmet's working on a whip, and that'll be given to 12 of his friends. And uh, congratulations to Hancock for winning that on his alternate account. Now, some people were a little upset that an alternate account won. Although, I don't get why they're upset, because if you look at this alt account and you scroll down, look at all these badges. Like, this is a dedicated alt account if this is someone's alt account. A lot of money spent on it. And look how much, even, how many classes and inventory space he has on this account. Like, it definitely deserves a win. Like, this account isn't just like a level 5 account that someone spent 500 ACs on. Like, this is a legit account that could be someone's main. So, I don't get why people are so upset that an alternate account won. It's all fair. It's actually probably what RX Entertainment wants. It wants you to spend as much money on the game. It's possible that's why the contest exists. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm glad he won. And uh, oh, can't wait to see the brand new whip. Uh, and they're doing it again for May. So if you buy an upgrade this month, I think the minimum is on uh, for like 400 ACs on portal.battleon.com uh, in AQ. Uh, it's like $5 is the minimum entry fee. So if you buy anything, any upgrades, any membership, any ACs during this month on your account, uh, you're entered in. I don't know how they draw it. I wish they'd be more transparent on how they're choosing winners. I'm not sure. Are they going by who spent the most that month? Or are they going by a random number picker? Or are they, like, are they, is it completely random? I don't know how they're choosing a winner, but they choose one winner every month. And, uh, they don't tell us how that happens. But if you want to be entered into it, you just got to purchase something in that month. And, uh, you can get your chance to win a custom weapon for yourself. All right, I'm pretty excited about this. You probably are too. A brand new class uh, being hinted at heavily by Elena on Twitter. So someone replied to a post that Elena made about a battle pet, a brand new battle pet, saying that there's no classes that are really worth it uh, because uh, to use a battle pet, you need a battle pet class like Necromancer. Um, and a lot of the battle pet classes or almost all of them in the game currently, they all 
kind of suck, let's be honest, compared to the newer classes that have been released recently. So we do need a new battle pet class, and Elena says she agrees. We need a new battle pet class, perhaps one to hunt monsters. So maybe like a witcher battle pet class, you know, maybe. Um, really cool, and she says keep an eye on the design notes over the next month or so. So we have one in the works. It sounds like they know what kind of battle, uh, what kind of class they want to make. And I would love a brand new battle pet class in the game. That'd be amazing. Let's get into the next news topic. Okay, I'm probably gonna talk about this longer than I want to, but this contest on the Facebook page, you can go to the notes and click there. Just search Adventure Quest Worlds on Facebook, you'll find them. Uh, they do contests of where they give away ACs, but now they're giving away backpack space. And the thing that I want to talk about here is it says that uh, three winners uh, will each receive three more bag spaces, even if they already max out their slots. Um, a lot of people, I, I'm just bringing this up, so this will probably happen after the rewrite. Uh, they'll let you buy more bag space after server rewrite, but it seems like they have the ability to allow you to do that right now. They probably aren't just because uh, it adds a bunch of complications to the game, and they probably want to deal with that after they're done rewriting the server, not right now, because they're working on that. But yeah, so they have the ability to give you more bag space. I would love some more bag space, to be honest. Uh, so I'm not trying to enter one of these contests, although I doubt I'd win. Uh, because I have no clue where that is, to be honest. I, I think most people for these contests, they just read the comments and they're like, Oh yeah, I'm just that guy, and that guy, and that guy said that it was this area. So I'm also going to say that. Hopefully I win. Like, I think that's what everyone does on the contest. Like one guy figures it out and then everyone knows. Because I have no clue where that is. Actually, is that? No, nah, I'm not even going to guess where that is. <laughs> um, but uh, if you want to go enter a contest to get three more bag spaces, you can do so. And uh, they do have the ability to give you more than 200 bag slots, and they don't. So there's something to be a little bit upset about if you feel like it. So here is the Artix Entertainment calendar. I really love this. Uh, it gives us info about the things that are going to come up in the future. Uh, it's artix.com slash calendar. Of course, they're not set, they don't have everything that's going to be released on here, but they have the main like big events and stuff. So, uh, the April upgrade package is coming out tomorrow. Let's talk about that real quick. Uh, here's Reen's character page. This could be the April upgrade package. I wouldn't know what else this would be for. Maybe a set that drops in the new event that's coming out tomorrow, but it doesn't really look very Easter-y to me, so this could be the upgrade package. Uh, not confirmed at all. That's pure speculation, so don't Take my word as truth, but uh, could be, could be. Also, Proto Paragon's going away, so if you haven't got that yet, I'll make sure you pick it up. It's ten dollars minimum for that one, and twelve k, uh, twelve month for that one. Uh, not twelve k dollars, twelve k. Yeah, yeah, what I'm saying. Also on the calendar, we have the new events that are coming out for the rest of the month, except for the twenty eighth. Here, we don't know which one. I don't think they have a planned one for that, but they do have the Rift opens. Uh, which the Queen of Monsters saga begins again darker deadlier and they are coming for you So there's a little bit of information I guess on what's happening on the 14th on the 21st We have the destroyer out of darkness. It comes it comes Keep your eyes on the notes. Okay, so just a little bit of information So the story sounds pretty interesting and I think we already have a little bit of info on the rift opens uh, part of the chaos uh, Line and we have a rep booth weekend. Is that for all boosts? 15% more class points and rep on all servers. Okay, pretty cool. And Gridwog returns on the 13th next uh, month. So you can check us out at uh, artix.com slash calendar if you want to check out this calendar for yourself. I thought I'd include this in here just because it's a, a pretty cool uh, resource to keep track of all the updates that are coming out. All right, and here's just some fun, quick little rapid fire topics at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching it so far. So, uh, AQ3D had their 1.4 update. And it's actually really cool. So if you haven't checked it out, I'd recommend going uh, and checking it out. If you haven't tried out AQ3D and you want to, just search AQ3D uh, on Google. And let me put Steam behind it. So search AQ3D Steam. Uh, it'll bring you to the Steam store. Now you can install Steam if you don't have it on your computer already. Uh, or just hit play game and it'll probably ask you to install Steam. Uh, you can download it. It's free, of course. Uh, free to play. Uh, you can log in. You don't need to buy anything in any of the other games like you did for the beta or anything because it's open beta right now. Uh, you can log in and play. And right now it's the perfect time to play the game because the 1.4 update added party systems, which they didn't have that in the game before if you haven't played AQ3D yet, but it makes it so you can do dungeons together, which um, dungeons, if you haven't, you gotta try it out. Dungeons are actually pretty fun. 
added party systems. It added cosmetic equips, so you can have an item and use the stats of one item, but have the cosmetic effect on your character of another item, which is really cool. So you can make cool stats, but still have your high level items, so you can do damage and have a lot of health and stuff. Uh, and it also changed the combat system, so it's a little bit better now. Uh, so it like a few skills were changed, and the combat just feels better, honestly. Uh, like the animated health bars and stuff really adds to that. So if you haven't tried out AQ3D yet, definitely try it out. So here is a little bit of news about some Adventure Quest YouTubers like myself. So Alex on Twitter, I don't know if I should be putting this in the news video, but I thought I'd just announce this. He said he's going to uh, quit. Uh, no one supported his Patreon, uh, so he's just going to make uh, videos on bigger games. So I assume like League of Legends and stuff like that. Also working on his uh, music, which I really love Alex's music. And if you're watching us, Alex, keep that up, man. Uh, very talented with that. And uh, I tried out the guitar before. It's not as easy as, as playing a guitar looks. So also Renegade's back. So some positive news to end the video on. If you guys want to go subscribe to Renegade, uh, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. If I, if I forget that, please remind me in the comments down below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment on what your favorite new update is. Mine's definitely the Battle Pet class. I can't wait for that to come out. Uh, I thought they completely abandoned the whole idea of Battle Pet classes, but I guess they're still on that. And uh, really excited to see what kind of... Like, okay, so the, here's the thing. I have this Battle Pet right here. Best Battle Pet in the game, NA, EU, World, Universe. Um, very nice Battle Pet, and I would love to get some use out of it. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not ready. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description to that. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.